I've had a lot of requests for this recipe recently, so I thought I'd give it a go and I absolutely fallen in love with it. It's so amazing. Let's make these beautiful cheese stuffed slow cooker meatballs on the One Pot Chef. First we're going to work on our meat mixture. So into a large mixing bowl I've got 500 grams or about a pound each of beef and pork. I like using a combination of beef and pork with meatballs. It makes it a nicer texture, you get a nicer flavour. You could also use all beef or all pork. You could also use chicken or turkey. And we're going to season that with some salt and some pepper. One teaspoon of garlic powder or dried garlic. One cup of fresh breadcrumbs. Basically, I just put two slices of sandwich bread through uh, the food processor until it was nice and crumbed up. A quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Two eggs. Half a cup of milk. And half a cup of freshly chopped parsley. And just using clean, wet hands, we're just gonna stick our hands in and start smooshing everything together. Once that's completely mixed together, I want you to wet your hands again to stop the mixture from sticking to your hands and just take small amounts of the meat and then simply roll them together in your hands until you get a little ball about the size of a golf ball. The mixture made about 20 to 25 meatballs, so I've just put them all onto a plate. Next, I've got some dried mozzarella cheese, not the stuff that's really soft that comes in liquid. This is just the dried out slightly one, and all I've done is I've chopped it into cubes of cheese, just big cubes. And I've just kept them in the fridge to chill while we sort out our meat. And all we need to do is just take one of our meatballs, take a piece of cheese, press it into the centre of the meatball, and then just carefully reform the meat around the cheese. You might need to re-roll the ball slightly. And then all you need to do is pop that aside on a plate. Now it's time to start loading our slow cooker. I've got two 500 gram jars of pasta sauce. I'm going to put one jar in the bottom. Arrange the meatballs. Then simply pour the other jar of sauce over the top. Now all that's left to do is to put on the lid and allow this to cook for two and a half hours on the high setting or until the meatballs are completely cooked. Our meatballs have been cooking away for two and a half hours, so let's take a look. Oh, wow. The smell is amazing. You can see some of the cheese has escaped from a couple of the meatballs, but that's fine. They're looking really good. I think we're just about ready to eat. Well, here's some of our meatballs and I'm just gonna cut one open to see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, wow, look at that. Beautiful. Succulent, tender meat, delicious sauce and beautiful flowing hot cheese. I cannot wait to dive in and have a taste of this. Ooh. <laughs> Mmm. Yum. Mmm. <laughs> beautiful. The meat is tender and juicy. You've got that beautiful melted cheese in the center, which has got nice and hot and cooked the meatballs from the inside out. And then you've got the heat from the pot cooking the meatballs from the outside in. It's absolutely fantastic. Gotta love this with some pasta, some rice, some mixed vegetables. These would be great for meatball subs. Trust me. It'll blow the brains out of a subway. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com and don't forget to check me out on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And until next time, see you later. These are absolutely sensational and they're so simple to put together. There's very little effort. You can change it up however you like. You can use different meats, you could use a different sauce, you can change up the cheese. There's so many options. Give it a try. You will absolutely love them.